At the Rio Earth Summit in 1992, world leaders pledged to halt the destruction of the global environment. Over the past two decades, these commitments have been restated. But UNEP's GEO5 report finds that the pace of destruction has only increased, with internationally agreed goals still unrealized. The GEO5 report provides a sobering balance sheet of the last years and it provides a number of clear indicators that on most of the internationally environmentally agreed goals that already exist, we have either not been able to make a great deal of progress, very often have failed to meet those goals, or in many instances are also still confronted by the fact that we are not able to measure and track progress. On the eve of Rio Plus 20, several critical thresholds are approaching, beyond which abrupt changes to the life support functions of the planet may occur, with grave consequences for human well-being. But there are glimmers of hope. Much has been learned over the past two decades about which strategies work best to protect Earth's ecosystems. In every corner of the globe, policies have evolved that offer real solutions to even the most daunting environmental problems. Community-based conservation policies that see local people as partners in protection. All these things are happening. Then this is definitely going to have a very good effect in conservation of biodiversity. Biological corridors that improve the effectiveness of protected areas, even across national boundaries. New farming methods that meet growing demand for food without putting more wilderness under the plow. They've mobilized hundreds of people on a regular basis, giving them jobs, giving them all kinds of education. It is truly a movement and that is spreading. Innovative schemes that restore degraded land to health such as bombing desertified areas with seeds. Market-based mechanisms that pay for the protection of vital watersheds and other ecosystem services. We think that uh, growth, uh, wealth and environment uh, go hand in hand. I think these paying for services projects offer a lot to countries. It's also a way to get the private sector to understand the value of protecting the environment. And projects to restore vital freshwater resources like the Wadi Hanifa in Saudi Arabia. Marine protected areas that benefit coastal ecosystems as well as local economies. Further out to sea, a handful of far-sighted schemes show that with strict enforcement, sustainable fishing is possible. Recycling approaches that deal with the toxic chemicals in obsolete electronics and other goods. Feed-in tariffs to speed the transition to renewable energy. Renewable and energy efficient technologies will be one of our fastest growing export areas. And adaptation strategies such as coastal defences to prepare for the impacts of climate change. Scaled up, adapted and replicated throughout the world, policies like these could yet put economic and social developments on a sustainable footing and help countries meet internationally agreed goals. The planet requires us to act. GEO5 is one way in which we can sharpen our focus on where we should act first, how we can act, and where others who have acted have been successful.